Afternoon world, I'm Alvin. Welcome to Tit for Tat, a little of this and a little of that. Today, I'm getting ready to um, make some chicken noodle stew, stew, not stool, <laughs> uh, that uh, Charles and I will be eating tomorrow uh, for our live at 6 p.m. Tomorrow is Sunday and we go live every Sunday at 6 p.m. Uh, with our little talk show that we just started called Tit for Tat, a little of this and a little of that. And tomorrow our topic will be on colorism in the uh, black, gay, lesbian, bi, trans, elemental P community and straight because that's where it originated at, through slavery. So, but uh, I'm going to do a little cooking here and I'll show you all something quick that uh, to make some chicken noodle stew and as a prelude to our show tomorrow. So, we have some cream of chicken, Campbell's cream of chicken, which happens to be my last name, Campbell. <laughs> and um, we're going to have some celery. I've already washed this off. Okay. We have an onion. We have some carrots. We have, I have some peas and some corn that's in the freezer that I'm going to put in there in a little, in a little while. We also have some better than bouillon. Okay. This is chicken broth. Okay. We have a little bit of garlic. We have some egg noodles. Okay, I'm going to put a little basil in there and a little bit of olive oil. Okay, I already have the chicken boiling right here. Let me get that. That's already boiling. All right, so we have some, this is chicken breast, and I just fill it up with water. And what I'm also going to do, okay, I'm going to step away for a minute. You'll hear me in the background, but I'm also going to put some crushed red peppers in here not a lot but just a little bit and I'm getting ready to season this up okay so I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit of crushed red peppers just to give it that little zing okay you don't want your food too boring all right and then so, and then I'm going to take this oregano, and not oregano, basil, and I'm just going to sprinkle a dash of that in there. Okay. I'm going to take a little bit of this olive oil. Okay. Bertoli, extra virgin olive oil. I don't have much left, but I'm going to take a little bit of that, and I'm just going to maybe put maybe about a teaspoon of that in there, okay? That's for my onion. Okay, and so I'm gonna take this right here, this minced garlic. I do have some whole garlic in the refrigerator. I could use that, but I'm gonna go in here, take me out a little spoon out of my dishwasher. These dishes are clean, thank you. And I'm gonna take about that much garlic and I'm just gonna to toss it into this pot, okay? Let all of that just cook down there, okay? And uh, so we got that and that. So, and I'm gonna take just maybe a teaspoon of this right now to put in there, okay? And then I'm gonna, I'll put some more in later as I taste to see how the flavor is. Now I'm making this today because I like for it to sit, I'm gonna just take about that much, because I like for it to sit overnight because the flavor tends to um, get better once it has set overnight in the refrigerator. That's when all them juices and uh, vegetables and everything you're gonna put in there starts um, molding together, all right? So I'm going to put this here, and um, 
that's really all I need for there right now I'm gonna take a dash of pepper okay we got we got crushed red peppers in there but I'm just gonna take a dash of pepper uh, if I can find it here's my little grinder right here okay turn that upside down about that much is good okay and here we go I'm gonna just take that drop it in there and that's about all I need for that part right there okay wash my hands here because I don't touch a bunch of things before I start touching these vegetables I need to feed my fish to my little I'm gonna say my little <laughs> discus tank but it's not a little tank it's actually <laughs> 300 gallons uh, you probably can see some of the discus over there swimming around has some it's got uh, five discus in there somewhere they well they don't usually hide that much but they will especially if they're being chased by each other um, so I'm just going to cut these up into about this size right here. Doesn't have to be minced or anything like that. Just, just some little chunks. This is the celery. Don't cut yourself. Like I said, I'm not a professional gourmet chef. I just have some recipes here that I picked up from my mother, grandmother, and my sister. Her name is Martina. She lives in Cincinnati. Actually, all my family lives in Cincinnati. Columbus, mainly. I got some that live in Oklahoma, but most of them, uh, most of them live in Cincinnati, Ohio. And my sister, she's a gourmet chef, and she uh, runs her. Um, catering business on the side and she's not working I guess it's called Matina's Atmospherics Food and she's very fancy so don't expect me to be like that but I'm gonna take these onions I don't know if I'll use all of those I'm just really trying to make enough for Charles myself and my son and again this doesn't have to be all minced up, you know, cut it to your liking. Get, you know, some people like real chunky vegetables, some like them smaller. And like so, maybe, um, maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do one more. I'm going to take this. I'll just set this off to the side there, okay? Take this, just cut it up, like so, okay? So we have uh, celery, onions, um, here's some carrots, take these carrots here. You can cut up some carrots if you want or you can buy them already chopped. And just take that like that that should be enough just like that you know take a little off my hands here okay and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just bring my little pot over here you can take the food over there if you want to but I'm gonna bring it right here I'm gonna just sit it in the sink and I'm gonna take these vegetables let me, let me put this here's a little thing my onion came out of let me put that back there. So then I'm going to take this and I'm going to just dump it in here like so. Okay, that's down in there. And then I'm going to go to my refrigerator and I am going to my freezer actually. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to get out peas and carrots. I'm 
not carrots, these peas and corn. I'm just going to take some of these signature peas from Tom Thumb. This is their brand. I'm just going to dump some in here as much as I want or as least as I want. I don't measure stuff. I just kind of cut and cook and taste. That should be okay. I'm going to leave a little bit of these peas because I might want to make something else later in the week that I want to eat off of. And I don't know if I want to go back to Tom Thumb, but here's some corn. Uh, Tom Thumb brand signature. I'm just going to drop some corn in there. And that's really about all the vegetables I put in there. I don't go, it ain't like beef stew where you throw a whole lot of vegetables. You just want a little bit. I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it back down in my freezer. Okay. And let's just uh, take this. I'm going to put this right back. I don't know if you all could see that. But there's the vegetables in there, and it also has two chicken breasts. Not big chicken breasts, but just little regular, I guess maybe small or medium type chicken breasts. I don't want it full of chicken and nothing else. Okay, so I'm going to take this. And I'm going to wash my little hands off here again so I can wrap up my onion and put this stuff up that I'm not going to use. I got to hurry up because um, I got to head down to some my friends, my best girl, Deborah, her sisters and brother they got birthdays this month so we're heading down to a restaurant in Burleson to go eat to celebrate all of their January birthdays so anyway I'm gonna take this onion I'm gonna put it back in here wrap it up maybe use it another day you know unless it spoils before I get to it which is possible <laughs> okay take this garlic um, I'm going to leave this out for now. We'll leave this out for now. Take this. Take this. Put this stuff back in the refrigerator. And I do say refrigerator. I do know how to say refrigerator. But I don't always pronounce my words correctly. Um, I can, but I don't always speak effective communications. <laughs> There's no point. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take this olive oil and this basil, I'm going to put it back up in the cabinet. And so I'm a, I have this, um, this uh, chicken and spices little vegetables I have that on high so that'll cook down uh, once that chicken gets ready then I will um, wash my hands here I don't need this cutting board anymore excuse the dishes in the sink I do live here so there's going to be some living going on I'll just put that there. We'll get to all of that later. Okay, just rinse off my knife. I don't really need this right now, but let's put it right here. But I'm, gonna, I'm also going to peel my chicken and shred it on this once it once it's done. Okay. And now we're going to let that simmer for a bit. I'll just use this and wipe this off. And then I'm going to go over here and uh, eat my fish. Alright. So, I'm going to give them some beef hearts. Flake food. Earlier I fed them their uh, variety flake. I gave them a little discus. Gave some, you know, some blood worms. 
some bug bites. Okay, so now I'm just going to give them some bee parts. Okay, and they are waiting. Now I'll just put a little bit of that in there like that. They eat all the time, so it ain't like I got to overdo it. And then they like to um, feed from the bottom too. They'll come feed from the top and through the middle, but they like to feed through the bottom. So let the flakes fall to the gravel and let them go to pick it. Okay. And then while that's um, cooking or boiling, however you I will be back when that chicken has finished boiling to continue this video. This is a just giving you a little information about our show tomorrow. It is tomorrow, <laughs> not not tomorrow. <laughs> it is on colorism. Please join us. You know, join us in the chat. Um, we may bring you into the studio. You know, we have a link that we can give you if you want to come in and. Uh, help us with the uh, conversation if you you know you have something uh, interesting and valid to say or just come on in and let us know we may pull you on in there and I will see you once this chicken has boiled